the situation is bad in the outer islands. Um, the, these islands are low lying and very close to the volcano. Um, the Tongan Navy has evacuated the residents of the islands of Mango, Fonoi, and Atata. And um, th these people had nowhere else to go. The 15 meter waves you've heard uh, went from one side of the island right through to the other side. Faka Fanua has since been calling for help and donation from neighboring countries. The first relief flights arrived at Tonga's just reopened International Airport on Thursday, carrying much needed water, sanitation and shelter supplies, communications gear, and power generators from Australia and New Zealand. On Friday, New Zealand sent an additional 250,000 litres of water to the South Pacific archipelago. Together with water supplies, desalination equipment was also provided. Uh, we, we need water, we need food. Um, right now in Tonga, they're trying to clean up. Um, so hopefully, uh, according to the government, schools will be able to go back um, soon. Um, provided um, on the 31st of January, uh, schools are for the, the children to go. While delivering supplies, crews followed the no-contact approach as part of the anti-COVID-19 efforts. They were told to stay on board while supplies were unloaded by local workers or cranes. The United Nations said volcanic ash damages crops, livestock and fisheries and saltwater intrusion and acid rain potentially affect about 60,000 people. There are also reports of fuel shortage, but supplies are expected shortly as part of regular shipment and support from Australia. <laughs>